All right, so today is number two of working on the Fury. Um, today I plan on working on the brakes. I'm very happy with this um, motor firing right up. As soon as, as soon as we got charged on the dead battery, fired right up and it held an idle for probably until almost it ran out of gas. But we had to shut it off because it was stinking up the house. And that's going to be the last time I do that. And I'm going to be airing it out on the road and not in the garage where I can get into the house and all that stuff. Um, of course, I had this foil ducting, which was obviously kind of, I mean, it worked good for a while, but then literally it burnt up on the exhaust tip some of it actually melted onto the exhaust tip so I'm going to have to scrape that off because that's going to continue to burn and stink up the place so I don't like that but yeah I was just here cleaning up because I got a lot of junk around here you know especially back here uh, these uh, doors I'm planning on putting for sale marketplace they are 59 to 60 Lincoln Continental coupe doors both uh, passenger and driver they have no hardware so far they're solid they got a little bit of rot on the bottom uh, one dent here but uh, other than that they're good workable doors that someone can use for a project or to put in their house as a display piece, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm just gonna chunk out of here so it's no longer in eyesight of anybody. Now, I was also working on figuring out this wheel crisis. Because when I got this car, it came with one, two, three, four. It came with four wheels in the trunk. And obviously right away I determined this is a Jeep wheel. There's a code on there, I'll tell you. So there's no problem with that. It is the same lug pattern, five by four and a half. It does fit this car. But the problem with it is it's too deep. So to me, it's better off just going back onto a Jeep. So I'm going to be selling that too. I don't know what size it is. I'm assuming it's probably like a 15. I don't know. Anyway, this is a Nissan Altima wheel. It has a code on it too. It made it real obvious. And so this is going to be for sale also. This tire is punctured. It's no good. Uh, it is a tire from 2005, and it says made in Canada as a good year. So it looks to be original, out of the factory spare tire, which most of these spare tires that come with these cars, people almost never change the tires on them. So they're usually original. But sometimes, you know, if they're using the car a lot, then sometimes it happens to be that they change the uh, tires and the spare tires but it's it's rare anyway so here's another spare tire obviously this one does not have a five by four and a half lug pattern it is a five lug but i think the pattern is slightly bigger it's probably a five by five i don't know i'll have to measure it and see but I don't really see any signs that it's a Chrysler wheel. Uh, the tire, I believe, is an original tire from 65. It's a Firestone. And it's solid as hell. I don't know how anybody's ever going to get that off, but it might come off. <laughs> but it's hard as a rock. And, I mean, I checked the date code, and I'm like, this thing's got to be from 65, you know, because it's that's what I, I mean, I read the date code the best I could, and it looked, it looked like it said 65, so that's what I believe it is. Now, you'd think that, of course, this tire's from 65, 
65 was when this Fury was being built for 66. So you'd think that this is the original equipment, but it's not. Because <laughs> it doesn't fit. This tire right here, now this wheel here, I believe is the original one. It has a five by four and a half lug, so it does fit. But the tire on it is blown out. The tire is a 175 80 D13, right? So it's a 13 inch. We all compared it with some pictures of some original spares uh, for a 66 Fury, and it looks exactly like it. But I don't know, I can't confirm until this tire is off and I can see what it says inside there. But uh, I mean, there's no outside Chrysler stamp. I don't think they started stamping the wheels until around 70. You know, or maybe they did start doing it in 68, I don't know. But, I mean, these other wheels that fit, they look original. They also have the right size according to the manual. I think one is not original because it's painted blue. Don't know. On the back side, this one here on the back side is blue. But anyway, I think some of these wheels here are original. So... I just think this is an original spare tire. But anyway, the date code on here reads CC, well the dot code is CC897W7493. So the 493 at the end basically means it was the 49th week of 93, but I believe that could also be 83. I really doubt it's 73. But it could be 73 based on the age of this car, but I don't know. But obviously, that's the reason why it's blown out. Someone was rode it until it, blow, it blew out. So it was obviously a bad tire when they started using it. But, um, yeah. But like I said, I don't think, you know, in 66 that they, none of these wheels here or have any Chrysler stamps so I don't know the specs on that maybe I'm right but we'll see but later I'm gonna get into um, putting in brake fluid bleeding the brakes make sure the brakes work and then once I got the brakes done I can put the drums back on except for the front drums I'll be putting the greasing and putting on the new wheel bearings and then I can put the front drums on. <clears throat> and then I'll have basically the, you know, it'll be ready to put the wheels back on. But before I lower it, I want to get this neutral safety switch wire out of the way so I don't have to be jacking this back up soon and putting that in. I don't like this being jumpered. So... Definitely do that. Maybe today, but I just plan mostly today. Just going to be doing brakes. And then once that stuff's done, this thing can be on the ground. I do the final adjustments on the front suspension, getting the torques and stuff down. And then this thing will be ready to go. You know? And then if I want this thing to pass inspection, then the next thing would be is lights. So that means I got two headlights missing up here. Get those. Fix my horn. Horn wire is broken. Uh, fix that wire. I got a turn signal wire that's broken. Gonna fix that. And then while I'm at it, I'm probably gonna need an overflow. The original bag has is long gone. So on eBay I found this uh, actual like tank mod that you can put right here. 
and it's an overflow tank and that will take care of that for now and then way later on you know I plan on digging into the diff making sure no gears in the diff are busted uh, putting a new gasket on it put new fluid in it and then I'll be putting this rear bumper on so that I don't have to keep uh, dragging it around everywhere and then the very very final thing that I'll be doing is air conditioning heater core is obviously busted it leaked the last time I ran this car and I had ran this car without a bypass so it leaked and the air conditioning I have no idea if it still works or not there's a wire here an AC wire I gotta fix you know there's a connector a spade connector there but there's a wire off of here and the connectors broke off of it so I gotta fix that and then I got this temperature sensor wire which I don't like that so I'll be fixing that and then that'll be pretty much it for this car you know I don't plan on doing any body work to it yet you know I'm just gonna leave it as is the body is good enough to to be a runner so it's not it's not too bad it's not like it's falling apart you know I, I got all my glass here I got my mirrors so I mean overall other than the lighting and wiring issues this thing would pass inspection no problem So yeah, so I'll see y'all in a bit, bleeding the brakes. Just a quick recorrection on this wheel. So of course, previous clip, I thought that this wheel, this tire, was from 65. Well, I completely forgot that they didn't have DOT codes on tires until 70 or 71. That's when they mandated it, you know, U.S. government mandated it. But anyway... So, of course, this has got DOT code, and the code is VCPYH9K165. Now, of course, I keep getting these three digits backwards. I keep thinking 65, I keep thinking the last two are the year, and the first one is the, uh, the week. But, of course, yet again, i got to keep thinking of it like the other one, where it's the week first. So, this would be the 16th week. And then there's a five there and based on how these are not like circular boxes and they're like square that makes me believe that this tire could be from either 75 or 85 and not 95 I to me this tire just doesn't seem like 90s it seems like it would be 80s or 70s so I don't know but still yet again I'm unsure of what this came off of. So that's a 125, of course T stands for temporary. A temporary 125-70-D15. I don't know what the D stands, why they use the D. New, newer tires nowadays use an R. I don't know what that's about, but this is obviously a 15-inch wheel. There's some other codes on here on this side and on the other side um, don't know what those stand for could be more manufacturer codes you know it is a firestone tire the other one in here if i can give y'all an example you can see how this one here is more round so that's why I believe this is from 93 that that's a 90s tire you know because what they did is they started off with just these solid uh, square blocks and then they uh, eventually rounded them off in the 90s a bit 
and then in the 2000s they really like started almost turning them into bubbles around the letters and numbers and then of course I mean there was also some crap about if it's a 90s one there'd be like a triangle somewhere but I've seen 90s tires and they don't have the stupid triangle but you can tell the way basically these blocks are they're they're not blocks are you know they they're either bubbles for like 90s or 2000s or they're square blocks for 70s and 80s so yeah but even though they mandated uh, DOT codes in 70 and 71 before then tire manufacturers are still putting date codes on their tires it's just of course before then it might be harder to decode the codes because you know manufacturers have their certain processes it's just kind of the way it was so this is the mess I'm going through I just cleared all this out there's a bunch of shit there because you know, it's in front of this wheel right here basically a uh, wheel well and I got to make sure that that master cylinder works when I'm testing these brakes so yeah apparently this is what happened to one coolant can can or whatever container it it decided to shrivel up and I think it's been leaking and that's you know sitting right up there so most likely this might have been what was leaking causing the problem now I don't know if this was caused by that friggin uh, shit storm we had in February or if it was like that before but I don't know how the hell that got that way. I'm going to release the cap on this and see if it does anything. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't even haven't even used this and it's fucked up like that. So I'm not going to That sucks. Nice new thing cooling. Now waste. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the brake fluid in. Uh, the cover says dot three. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, dot three in. Got a mess going here. Still. Should I keep this cover on and bleed it? Well, it looks Should like I you need that? some more in there. How much more? Well, try to fill it up to closer to the top. Okay. Because there's, right now you have air in the lines and the air is going to be displaced just by, I think, just by cracking the lot the nut back there, air is going to start leaking out. The, oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, fill it up higher. 
and then crack the back line. Um, uh, it's probably there's probably a check valve in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need some more anyway, because it's gonna take a lot. So, the front reservoir is, is that for the front or the back brakes? I think that goes, not sure if. All right, well, you know, here's how you find out. Here's the front line. Mm -hmm. Does that run to? That runs to the front of the, um. See? It runs to that block, right? Yep, the block down yep, here. The block okay, valve. so I get why you're not sure which one it is. Yeah, because they they made that like a weird okay, wait a shape. This one goes down here, and in this side here, we got this one. Mhm. Mm you gotta look. I, I hard. It's hard to see. Okay. Should I fill on. back one up some more? Let me, okay. Well, yeah, go ahead and put it in there. I guess all we can do is fill it, cover it. You can pump up the brakes. And, all right, that's good. And then we'll then we'll crack the line. All right. All right. You want to crack the line because if I'm sitting. It's easier for me to sit and eat and pump the brakes than it is yep. for you to pump the brakes and me to eat and crack the line. Okay. So, I'm, since I only got one camera, I'm just going to put you all on the cylinder so that you can see the air when I crack it. So, alright. Just put the cover on. Now? Yeah, or, take, the break, take the battery off. Okay, oh yeah, because the thing. Alright, give me a sec. All I'm doing is pumping fluid down. How come I'm hearing. I guess it's the, it's the diaphragm. And now should I release it? No. Nope. Okay. Oh, good. It's taking yeah, in fluid. Be careful when you're doing this not to drain them all the way because then you'll the air you're displacing in the lines uh, gets put back in at the okay. other end. So fill some more in. Uh -huh. Put some more in. Fill it up some more. Put some more in there, now the cover's going back on. I'll cover it. Okay. He manages the cover. Because of this right here. Right in there. That line right there is leaking. hard to see that well but there's a plug under there under the block that is leaking and I also got one other line that's leaking so I'm going to tighten all these up make sure it stops I guess the moral of the story here is make sure when you install a new system make sure all your friggin 
brake lines at your master cylinder are all nice and tight because every one of those was loose and that was a little bit of wasted brake fluid but it is what it is hopefully I don't have any more continuous leaks even after uh, they're tightened but uh, in a moment here we're gonna get back to square one where we were bleeding everything <laughs> Trying to bleed everything. back on. There. All right. Good. Yeah, I don't see any dripping anymore. Oh, I got one more okay. up here at the rubber line. That started. This rubber line for this recheck chunk. Let me see here. Hold on. I can get some wrenches on that. Go ahead and pressurize it. Yep, I'm looking at all the lines are just tightened. Okay. Okay, get the lid on. Cover back on. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Any leaks? I'm looking. I don't see any. Okay, so put the first drum on. And then there'll be a bunch of leaks, so the drums are kind of messy because, you know, brake fluid is fucking messy.
there. I got one drum on. Now I'm getting this drum on. Making sure because whatever you need it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Thanks. Alright. So that was on. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that bleeder screw closed. Yep, I haven't opened this one. I haven't. Right. Okay, that so they're on. Closed. These guys are gonna be secure. Probably do the other do put the other <laughs> Rating. So now I got this thing in a position. Should be able to slide this on. I think I got that on all the way now. So there's no question there. I think I'm going to go ahead and make sure this one's. Good. There. You ready? Yeah. So we're looking for leaks or what are we Yeah. That's all right.
It's good, the level hasn't changed. Okay. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm ready to go. Okay. Okay, yeah, some air just came out. It's close. Hearing any air come out of it. Do you see fluid? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, close it. Yeah. Alright, try it again. Try to get it back it. Okay. Just fluid, just straight fluid. Close Closed. One more time. Ready? Go. Okay. Okay, some air just shot out and then the rest of it was fluid. Alright, that's why we keep going. Air's still in the line. You're closed? Yeah. Open. Okay. Letting some air out. Alright, closed. Open. Okay. Okay, closed. Open. Fluid. Closed. That's good. Say fluid closed or air closed. Okay. Open. Okay, fluid closed. All right, one more time for fluid. Okay. Okay, fluid closed. Okay, go to the other side. Hold on, I don't have my wrench on it yet. Okay, ready. Open. Okay. Oh, that's a stupid thing. Air closed. Fluid closed. Okay, I felt that pedal drop, so we're getting a lot better. Open. Okay. Fluid air closed. Yep, I'm feeling it close. I'm feeling the pedal drop now, so this is good. Open. Fluid closed. Open. Okay. Fluid closed. One more time. Okay. Open. Okay, give me a sec. Damn thing. On. Damn. Okay, fluid open. Closed. Closed. Okay, front uh, reservoir is low. Rear reservoir is still full. Alright, refill both. Now the one in the front being low, is it, is it so low that it's exposing the hole? Uh, yeah, a little bit. And that's why I felt it a little bit. Yeah, but the so back one. That one. You just introduced air into that one. So that, good thing it's the front. It'll, let's see. Okay. Let's fill it. That's why we have to be real. 
cognizant of that. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, the rear one hasn't changed. That's good. That's fled. The front one, now we might have introduced some air at the top. Okay, maybe not. Here. Maybe that air at the top is going to be the right there instead. Okay. Okay, set. Okay, full, ready to go, covers on. You got your open. Okay, fluid closed. Alright, the driver's side. Okay. Give me a sec. Gotta make sure this tight there. Stupid glasses. Face. Why don't you use the rat ratchet? Where's that? It's looking good. You What's see that? that stuff? That looks like. What is it? Is it water? I don't know. Let me see. Let me get a flashlight on. I get better. This looks like junk that was in the master cylinder. Let's see. Let me get in there and look. Something floating. I wouldn't want that in there. I'd try to strain it off. Do we have anything to. Uh oh. Hold on. Uh, okay. Paper towel? No. We don't have anything like a screen or anything, right? No. What the hell is that stuff? Oops. I mean, it looks like... This looks like junk from the factory. Or Whatever, it something. looks like... It looks like... Um, particles. You don't want that. Yeah, it looks like something that could get... Stuck. I hate to get this off. Paint. What paint? You mean Pantina? I don't wash. Brake fluid's messy. That's nasty stuff. Well, it looks like most of it's gone. Okay. Good, Boomer. We got blood brakes. Now we can take off. You want to go drive? Oh, he doesn't want to go drive? No. No? I want to heal. Oh, Bo. Fuck oh. you. What? I sit here and help you bleed the brakes and you, you give me that shit. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's better. How's this mode? Not good. I very, said. very difficult mode. Good thing I'm as strong as I am. And I can live without the world. Whoops. 
you're making a mess. Yeah. Listen. All we need is a flashlight. I don't need it. It's got boomerize. Alright, so see all this stuff? Rather than putting it on up, you know, so you're reading everything backwards, spin it around. Oh, who flipped it around? I don't know. That's the way it went on, asshole. So. We take note, turn it around. Without any yep, shit. Pro. Joe Pro. Oh, yeah. Brick. No matter how much, you know, I indicate that I'm not in the mood for this bullshit, it's still way it's gone. Where's yeah, the tough. ratchet? Um. Let's see, where the hell is that? There we go. There's the ratchet. Never use the wrench. Why not? It's ratchet. Just let it sit there overnight, a couple days. We got, we're in no rush. No rush, come you might on. You might want to occasionally take a light tap of something to the lines, you know? Like, a ding. You know, just. This, well. Cause the trip. So, uh, no, just anywhere. Uh, around the. Especially around the wheel cylinder. And really okay. start from the bottom, work your way up. Okay. And do you know what that does? Alright. What do you think it does? Knocks the air out Yay. of it. The air up and helps it float to wherever it needs to go. I don't know. Should do it. He's making music. I don't know. Go from the top down, bottom up, whatever. I don't care. So, that's an example. He's I'm playing the drums. Hands. We got brakes bled. Tomorrow we'll be able to drive. Yep. Well, that's it. For this video, I, I guess this video is going to end up being separate. Because that brake job took a long time, but now it's out of the fucking way. Hopefully. No more air returns. And then maybe Friday or maybe tomorrow, I could have a neutral safety switch wire together. I could have some wheel bearings in. And then it should be good to go. And I just got to put the thing on the damn ground. Do the torques up front. Get some cotter pins later. Whatever. It should hold for a little bit without cotter pins. And I think it'll be good to go. It should fire right back up and go. So that's pretty much it. Peace.